Hey guys, this is the next episode of a tutorial for beginners uh, with collaboration with Pocketables.com and today we're going to talk about sleep profile. If you're anything like me and you have probably a high demand for the sleep profile, I work nights, uh, which means not all of the days can be included in my sleep profile. Sometimes I stay up uh, late as well, which uh, my profile involves something extra to account for this. And obviously on your usual day, I want a sleep profile and quiet hours to trigger at specific time. So I'm going to show you how to achieve this using Tasker only. Oh boy, it's good to have a map, right? Uh, what you see on the screen right now is just my notes and kind of road uh, map of what I'm going to do in Tasker. It doesn't have to be readable for you, it's just my, for my reference. The point is here, I just wanted to show you, it's good to uh, sketch everything up or plan um, some, some action on the paper or maybe on the computer so you could see what else you can do with it and what could be possible errors. This draft, it shows you the notification I'll be displaying on my phone and options I want to run when each notification is displayed. And this helps me actually to establish which notification has to be created and when notification has to be cancelled. So that way I always know uh, what to do next in a tasker. So it helps to have a map, right? All right, let's start the tutorial. If you've not done the home profile, I'd strongly recommend you to go and do it as we're going to use variable home from that profile. So first we're going to create a new project, I'm going to name it sleep and we're going to start it from a variable. This allows us to have a different starting time of our time profile. I'm going to call mine sleep time and end it at 7 o'clock in the morning. Now whatever we're going to supply in the variable, uh, this, this is going to be start time of our sleep profile. So let's associate the task. I'm just going to uh, name it sleep plus and it's going to be a very simple task. This is where you're going to enter all your sleep actions like muting or putting into vibrant. So I'm going to leave this with you. I'm just going to flash for now uh, sleeping. Now we've got this one sorted. So let's go back and clone and set up an exit task. This is the very easy way just to uh, replicate the same task. So select the task, click on clone and change the name to sleep, sleep minus. For now, I'm going to modify uh, just the flash message. However, this is why you're going to add your exit tasks, so restoring volumes and stuff like that. For the sake of this, I'm going to also go to the profile and remove restore settings uh, because I want to manually control which settings are to be reapplied. Now you've done this, we have to rename the profile and this is mandatory for this step because you cannot reference to the profiles unless they are named. As we're going to reference the profiles later, we need to do this. Now link this new task as an exit task and let's create a second profile. Our state condition is value of the variable. We're going to pick variable home. You should get this variable from the previous task tutorial. We're going to set it to one, so this is when we are home. This profile will be responsible for enabling our sleep time profile and setting the variable sleep time accordingly. So I'm just going to name the task enable sleep. When the profile is enabled, the first thing we want to do is set our sleep time variable to specific time. So I want my sleep times to start at uh, 11 p.m. So we're going to type 23.00 as this is how the time operates in Tasker. Next, I want to make sure that the previously created profile is enabled. So I can just search for profile status and select the named profile sleep time and set it to one. Next, I want to issue a notification message that will appear on my phone, just letting me know that uh, the profile, the sleep profile is enabled and it's going to be applying soon. So I'm just going to name it sleep profile, type some text and uh, I'm going to select the variable to show what time it's going to enable. Then I'm going to select uh, icon. Another thing we're going to do, we're going to add some actions so we could respond to this message. If you looked closely at the pictures I presented you before, you know the actions. So that's going to be postpone and cancel. When I hit postpone, I want uh, my uh, sleep time to be delayed for one hour from the time of clicking and cancel obviously will cancel the notification for the time being. I will quickly select the icons, but I won't apply any actions just yet because we don't have corresponding tasks. 
now that we have the basics obviously we don't want this to happen anytime every time we arrive at home so we're gonna add a time i want this to happen exactly at 10 o'clock to make the time frame work as an event all you have to do is just set it to the same time so the moment it hits the 10 o'clock it will perform an action note that this will change our state profile into an event profile so you won't find restore settings there anymore we're just going to rename it to warning at home so when it's at 10 o'clock we're going to get notification and our sleep profile will be set to 11. now let's create another one for when we are outside so this means that our home variable is zero and we want to create a new task that will give us some options and in this case, because we are outside, we might not want to have this profile um, enabled automatically, but we still probably want to have an option to enable it if you want to. So I'm just going to name the task Enable Warning, and we're going to start with uh, Notification. I'm keeping the title in line with the previous uh, notification, as I can use one command later to cancel any of them. So once I set up the uh, notification title and icon, I'm going to apply a few tasks to it. So one of the options is going to be to set uh, the uh, sleep profile now, the second to postpone it for one hour, and the third one to cancel. Each action in this notification will have corresponding tasks that we're going to create in a moment. Now just quickly going to tap on the icons, apply some cosmetics to it so it would be a little bit nicer and we're ready to assign more uh, tasks. Of course I still need to put some restrictions to it. So I want this to be triggered also at 10 uh, o'clock point and I want this not to be applied when I'm at work. I have a separate uh, profile that uh, tells me when I'm at work and it uses the work variable. So if the work variable is zero, I'm not at work. So this profile won't happen when I'm at work. And then the timer is precisely the same way set as in the previous one. So we're just going to select the uh, 10 o'clock to and from. Last thing to do after this is just to rename your profile into something custom. So I'm just going to um, name mine warning outside. Now that we know what notification will appear, we want that notification to be cancelled the moment we enter the sleep profile because notification about sleep is no longer needed. So our title was sleep profile for both notifications, whether it's the one issued from outside or whether we are home. So in this simple action, we just cancel them both. The next one uh, to do, we're going to issue a new notification, just informing that the mobile is in a sleep profile and giving us an option to cancel it. So in actions, I'm going to select a new label, new action and label it cancel. We have referenced the cancel task several times already, but we've not created the task itself. So let's go ahead to the task section, uh, to the task tab and create new task called cancel. This will uh, contain all the actions we need to cancel everything associated with alarms and completely reset it. So first, uh, we're going to make sure that the notification called sleep profile is cancelled. Then we're going to make sure that the notification that we just created, the sleep in sleep, uh, is cancelled as well. And then we're going to make sure that all the variables associated with it, they're going to be cancelled. There is a clever trick we can use pattern matching which uses regex and we know that all the variables we're using in this case they have a word time in it spelled with a capital t this will uh, this will basically clear all the variables with this name lastly we want to make sure that our sleep profile is disabled so just look for the uh, profile status and set the sleep time to off now we've done that one Let's create another alert, notify cancel. There is another message uh, notification that we've not created and it's called pending sleep. This is something we're gonna create in a moment. So while we're in this task, we might as well create an action to cancel the notification itself. All right, so this is done. Uh, let's create a new task and let's call it postpone. This is gonna be run each time we click on postpone on any of the messages on the screen. 
So first we're going to create and uh, well first we're gonna um, cancel the existing alert and as you can see on the picture this is sleep uh, profile that we need to dismiss. So once this is done uh, let's go ahead and uh, set the variable. We're going to set our uh, sleep time variable to a current uh, time. We do this by selecting time in milliseconds, or sorry, time in seconds, and this is Unix time basically, and we're going to add 3600 seconds to it, which means an hour. Now, um, the time prof context doesn't have a problem reading this time in this format, so you don't have to worry without it. However, we want to see it in a bit better manner, so we can convert it for our pleasure from seconds to daytime and temporarily store the resu results in a variable called pending time. We're going to use this just to display um, a readable time format on when our sleep time will start. So now we've got this information ready at hand, we can create a notification. This notification is going to be called pending sleep and the inner text we're going to use a variable uh, that we've just created pending uh, time. So it's going to give us a human readable time format. Then select all your usual the icon and let's go to our actions. Uh, we'll set action to cancel and we'll set action to postpone further. Once this is done, just apply your usual icons or whatever you want to make it look a little bit more pretty. And then the postpone task is done. Now, we need still one more task to be created. And I promise you this is going to be a last one, I think. So it's the one that will trigger the sleep profile straight away. So we're going to start with setting the variable our sleep time and we're going to set it to current time plus we're going to give ourselves 30 seconds ahead so value of our variable sleep time will be times so time in seconds plus 30. once this is done we want to make sure we're going to enable our sleep profile so let's uh, use uh, profile status find sleep profile and set it to on once this is done, we want to make sure there is no pending notifications. And so we're just going to use notify cancel again and cancel sleep profile notification, which could be presented to us on the screen. I know this is a little bit complicated to remember it all, so don't worry. But this is where it helps to have a map or a diagram of all of this, because it's much easier to see it. what to the next. Another notification we want to cancel is the pending sleep. Now, the last thing we need to do after this is just add a few more actions. First of all, in sleep minus, so this is when we exiting our sleep, we need to run cancel task because we want to clear all the variable, variables and all the notifications. So just click run a perform task and then select cancel. All right, another thing that we need to do uh, is to assign our actions. So all you have to do is just run perform task, I'm sorry, and select cancel. Now I'm going to go through all the um, buttons I've created and assign the same um, action to each one of them. So run task. And for postpone, I'll be assigning the postpone. For um, cancel, I'll be assigning cancel for start now or set now i'll be assigning then in sleep task etc just double check that you are assigning correct task to each button because uh, assigning incorrect one obviously can break the project itself and that's practically it one more thing before we start the profile is by default the sleep now uh, profile has to be off. So go ahead to profile tab and disable it. And you've got a working smart sleep profile. Thanks for watching guys. Additional materials I filed to download uh, is also available on notenoughtech.com so visit the website for more information and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye!